The invention of the first modern flushable toilet is credited to Sir John Harrington, an English courtier and writer, who designed and installed a prototype for his godmother, Queen Elizabeth I, in 1596. This revolutionary invention featured a water tank and a flush valve, allowing for waste to be efficiently flushed away. However, despite this innovative creation, the flush toilet would not gain widespread popularity until much later. During medieval times in Europe, sanitation and toilet facilities were vastly different from modern standards. The majority of toilets during this era were quite rudimentary, with options ranging from simple holes in the ground to communal outhouses and chamber pots. The use of such facilities varied based on social status and wealth. For those fortunate enough to be born into wealth and privilege, a more sophisticated option existed known as the garderobe. Derived from the French word for wardrobe, these were small, private rooms often built into the walls of medieval castles or manor houses. The garderobe contained a toilet seat or bench that was connected to a vertical shaft extending downwards. The waste would drop down this shaft, which served as an early form of sewage disposal. However, to facilitate the flushing process, low-ranking individuals, such as soldiers or servants, were tasked with manually pouring buckets of water down the shaft to wash away the waste. This process allowed for the waste to be transported away from the living quarters, reducing unpleasant odors and the risk of disease. Interestingly, the term, garderobe, holds a dual meaning. In addition to its function as a toilet, the name also originated from the practice of hanging clothes within the shaft. The ammonia present in urine helped kill fleas and other pests that might infest the clothing. This dual-purpose function of the garderobe showcased the resourcefulness of medieval sanitation practices. Intriguingly, the vertical shafts connected to garderobes occasionally posed security risks for castles. Daring attackers, including knights, attempted to infiltrate strongholds by entering through these shafts, using them as covert entry points. Such tactics added an unexpected layer of complexity to medieval castle defense strategies. Throughout history, a number of notable individuals met their demise while using the toilet. These include King Edmund II of England in 1016, Yaramir Duke of Bohemia in 1035, Godfrey IV Duke of Lower Lorraine around 1076, Wenceslaus III of Bohemia in 1306, and Uesugi Kenshin in 1578. These instances highlight the vulnerability of even the most powerful figures during seemingly mundane moments. In summary, the evolution of toilet facilities throughout history, from basic holes in the ground to more advanced inventions like Sir John Harrington's flushable toilet, offers a unique perspective on the development of sanitation and hygiene practices. The garderobe, with its dual function of waste disposal and pest control, provides a fascinating glimpse into the resourceful ways in which people addressed hygiene challenges in the past. Additionally, the unexpected security risks associated with vertical shafts connected to garderobes underscore the creative strategies employed in medieval castle defense.